first impression the first time I went in there, I went to the poster halls and there was just this noise of activity of people talking and I thought that was just the energy of science. Well, becoming a fellow of the AGU is one of the sort of um, benchmarks for, for my career. It was something I always wanted to achieve. I've been attending AGU for nearly 20 years um, since I was a PhD student. And every meeting I used to go to, I used to see the banners that used to be presented at this year's AGU Fellows, and I always had a great ambition to be a member of those. Um, but I also think that it, as moving forward, it means that I need to become um, a leader within AGU, not only scientifically but also a person that can be respected and, and, and can be a role model to other young scientists when they see my name on this board they'll go okay well how did he make it to this point. You need to be organised, that would be something that I would say straight from the bat, you know, straight off, be organised, but the other thing is you need to work hard. When you, take a, when you take a job as a young scientist, as a graduate student or a postdoc, you, you think of it as a job, just like you were being employed in industry. Get into work early, finish late, you know, put the hours in. When I was growing up, I didn't value my dad's career at all. I obviously was interested, but I was far more interested in soccer, I was far more interested in cars and things like that and I didn't really value my dad's career and then when I think about where I am now the biggest driving force is my dad. My dad's career is being recreated by me because he knew the mistakes he made in his career. He said Ben, 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 do that PhD then move to the US and then move to Singapore. So my dad's been very very influential in my career and um, yeah I mean I don't think I'd be at Singapore without my dad. Um, I wouldn't have got that fellowship without my dad.